Now I'll add a slideshow in the third row of this design. Slideshow is not a part of the UI kit core, it's a component. Whenever you use a component, check for the necessary JavaScript and CSS files. They'll be named the same or similar to that component. In this case, we'll need three CSS files and two JavaScript files. You can find them in the JS components folder and the CSS components folder. These are the three CSS files. The slideshow, almost flat is a theme I'm using and the minified version. The slide nav is the same CSS file that is used for the carousel slider and it gives us the left and right arrows. The dot nav is going to provide us with a dot navigation system that's optionally available for the slideshow. And the JavaScripts I add at the bottom of the page and you see two files there, slideshow min.js, that is the main file. The second one is an optional file, it's only required for certain transition effects in the slideshow. The basic structure for a slideshow is an unordered list nested inside a div. The div needs the data attribute data UK slideshow and it can take various options. Here I am just using autoplay for now and I'm setting that to true. The unordered list gets a class of UK slideshow and you add the images, each image as a list item inside that list. I'll start off with three different images here. And there is the slideshow. No navigation displayed yet at all. It's just going to rotate through. Now let's see how we can improve that by adding a navigation system that lets us go to the next or previous slide. The previous and next arrows work exactly the same way as for the carousel slider. Add a class to the div that has the data UK slideshow attribute, and this class is UK slide nav position. Then you add the two links inside this div below the unordered list. So the links have a UK slide nav class. The UK slide nav contrast provides a little more contrast to the arrows and you can custom style those classes if you want. This is the previous and the next and that's indicated in the data attribute as well. Now we see the arrows present on hover and I added a bit of a style so when the arrows themselves are hovered you see a different style there. Those are working exactly as they should. These are the custom styles I added for the slide nav arrows. Just set the color and a background color and a border radius on the hover. Another popular way to navigate a slideshow is by small dots that represent each of the slides. This is called the dot nav component in UIKit. This code can be placed under the arrow navigation code. This is an unordered list with a class of uk.nav and again that special styling uk.nav contrast. We're placing the dots at the bottom of the slideshow and we're centering them horizontally. Each list item gets a data UK slideshow item set to a number. And you'll notice that the first number here is zero. The numbering system is zero based, meaning that our first slide is called slide zero. If you're using this, you should always have the same number of list items here as you have slides in the slideshow. And here we see the three dots for the three slides. It's still on autoplay, so it's automatically transitioning through those and you can see the dots changing. And then of course you could click any dot to go directly to that slide. 
Here I've added more slideshow options in the Data UK Slideshow attribute. Autoplay interval is the slide display time where 1000 equals one second, so I'm playing each slide for three seconds. Duration is the duration of the transition, so I have a one second transition between slides and I'm using a slide transition or animation of fade. Some of the transition options up here, fade, scroll, scale, swipe. If you want to use slice down, slice up, slice up, down, fold, puzzle, boxes, boxes, reverse, random, FX. Then you need to make sure that you're linking to that JavaScript file. Pause on hover. You could set that to false if you want. The default is already true. And we'll take a look at the Ken Burns effect in a minute. So there you see the slides cycling faster. The default time is, I believe, seven seconds maybe, which is a little longer than I like to use. Let's try this Ken Burns effect. This provides a motion, like a moving in or out of the slides, and it just goes in as an attribute as well. Ken Burns true. There you see that slight zooming motion effect.